Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, there lived a kind and gentle princess named Sophia. Sophia was unlike any other princess in the land, for she had a passion for cooking and dreamed of one day becoming a great chef. As a young girl, Sophia would spend hours in the kitchen with her mother, the queen, learning the intricacies of cooking and baking. She loved the way the ingredients came together to create something truly special, and she took great joy in presenting her dishes to her family and friends. But as she grew older, Sophia's parents began to encourage her to focus on more princess-like pursuits. They wanted her to learn etiquette, diplomacy, and the art of ruling a kingdom. Sophia tried her best to please them, but her heart was always in the kitchen. Despite her royal upbringing, Sophia was determined to pursue her culinary dreams. She spent every spare moment in the kitchen, experimenting with new recipes and techniques. She read cookbooks, watched cooking videos, and even snuck into the castle's kitchen at night to practice her skills. One day, the king and queen announced a grand feast to celebrate the kingdom's anniversary. Sophia saw this as her chance to showcase her skills and begged her parents to let her prepare the main course. To her surprise, they agreed, and Sophia set to work in the kitchen. She spent hours preparing a magnificent dish, using only the freshest ingredients and her own special touch. She chopped, sautéed, and seasoned with precision, her hands moving with a grace and confidence that belied her royal upbringing. When the night of the feast arrived, Sophia's dish was a huge success. The guests raved about the flavors and presentation, and the king and queen were overjoyed with their daughter's talent. From that day on, Sophia was known as the chef princess, and her culinary skills were sought after throughout the kingdom. She continued to cook up a storm, bringing joy and delicious food to all who tasted her creations. As her reputation grew, Sophia began to receive requests from all over the kingdom. She cooked for banquets and balls, for weddings and holidays. She even started a small cooking school, where she taught the kingdom's children the art of cooking. Sophia's story spread like wildfire, inspiring others to pursue their passions no matter how unlikely they may seem. She proved that even a princess could be a chef, and that with hard work and determination, anything is possible. And so, the chef princess lived happily ever after, her kitchen filled with laughter, love, and the most delicious food in the land. She remained humble and kind, always willing to lend a helping hand or share her expertise with others. Years later, when Sophia's parents passed away, she became the queen of the kingdom. But she never forgot her roots in the kitchen, and she continued to cook and inspire others throughout her reign. The kingdom prospered under Sophia's rule, and her people loved her for her kindness, wisdom, and delicious food. And Sophia lived happily ever after, her legacy as the chef princess cemented in the annals of history.